Good morning, greetings once again from Heindel Motorcycle Sales, Eaton, Ohio. Here we have the unit that's going to get a replacement rim. Uh, there was a small little crack, well, it was starting to crack um, somewhere on it. I don't remember exactly where it was, but it's around one of the uh, one of the spoke nipples. So always check your nipples. You don't want to have your rims cracked. So anyway, now that you're probably laughing, falling off your chair, uh, let's get on with this little project. So we'll probably do a little bit of a video today. Got a couple extra minutes here. I'm going to pull the rear wheel out, jack it up, pull the rear wheel out, um, take the rim or tire off, and then, of course, take the rim off and replace the rim, reuse the hub. So we're going to show you the uh, rear wheel removal. pinch bolt and we just turn the axle back and forth to get the nut off the other end being careful not to scratch the uh, stretch the pipe And then we'll take our pliers and we'll pop our poodle clips out here, like so. And then we'll take our Allen wrench here and we'll go ahead and pull these off. Of course, you know many of you are probably sitting at home watching YouTube videos. We commend you for that on multiple accounts. Plenty of time to play with your motorcycle, go for a ride. Doing that wonderful stuff that they want you to do. You know, we got uh, here where the shop's at, there's uh, 65 acres here, so uh, wouldn't be hard to get distant around here. We're good at that anyway. So the next thing you're going to do after you pull the caliper loose, you take the 17mm uh, bolts loose from the bracket. Very simple. And if you want to, you can tie this out of the way or just kind of lay it gingerly, lay it off to the side. What we'll do is I'll take my bar here, pull my axle out again without scratching the pipe. Sometimes they can be stuck like that. One. loose now. We'll, uh, we'll clean that up and then put a little bit of lube on it before we put it back together. 
bracket. And then you fold this down out of the way. Like so. And it's off. Then we'll go over the tire changer then. We'll zip the rim off. But you've seen a tire change before. But that's how you pull the wheel out. And we'll make sure we lube these splines when we put it back together. Um, probably go ahead and lube the U-joint as well. Uh, while you have these apart, it's always a good time to put some grease in, in the Zerk. Um, Zerk's down in there. You can pull your 17 millimeter nuts off here, off your studs, pull the whole final drive out, pull it back. Um, it's also a good time to put some, put some grease down in here. Um, so you can do that all at the same time. And then while you have the wheel off, you want to check make sure these are tight um, we've seen these be broken before uh, these bolts will be broke off and you'll see the head in there and you'll think okay the bolts just fine uh, when you put your wrench on it and go to tighten it or loosen it uh, you realize the bolt spins and a lot of times you can see the way you tell if something's been moving there's a little bit of brown powder uh, you see this one may be just a touch loose so we'll check those out make sure those are still good and then, like I say, we'll take the tire off of there um, and then zip the nipples out. And then over here on the bench, we have our uh, Park Tools uh, truing stand. Got it set up here. So we'll uh, zip it all apart, zip the rim off, put the new rim on. Um, new rim laying over there on the floor. Get that put on, get it trued out, balanced out, remount the tire. And then we'll go ahead and we'll cut in and I'll show you you uh, putting the wheel back in. And we have our new rim installed, and then we also torque the fasteners there. Uh, you can see the grease sticking out of the uh, spline unit there. Uh, so we're going to put this wheel and tire assembly back in the motorcycle. Got it all ready to go up there. So saw a little while ago how we took the wheel out, and now we're going to put it back in. Pretty much reverse procedure. You know, put just a little bit of grease on the axle, not much, just a little. starter bolts. We won't tighten them, we'll just start them. Maybe. always do the front one first if you start the back one uh, you'll have a lot of trouble getting the front one in so do the front one first that enables this to flex and go in we'll set that there like that let me find my rag
And I got a UPS delivery coming in. Multiple UPS trucks today, one for delivery, one for pickup. So it's got to have your parts, you know. You over there in the package quarantine area? You are the keeper of the gremlins. Yes. We have lots of gremlins. See you, Chief. See ya. And then after you get the pads installed, then we'll uh, go ahead and tighten those up, put the poodle clips back on. There you have one installed wheel, tightened our pinch bolt, got our pads installed. And one of the last things I always do, not only do I check, make sure the I installed the clips on the end of the pins, see there, but we also verify that the proper side of the pad, I can find it there, verify that the proper side of the pad is towards the brake rotor. I go on having a heck of a time here. Eh, we'll turn you that way. Yep. 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 Good there, good there. Got everything on, tightened up. Ready to rock and roll. One last thing though, we will pump our brake. Always make sure you pump your brakes back up. There you go. Ready to rock and roll. Just a little, uh, video here this afternoon pulling the wheel out putting the wheel back in uh, we did install a new rim also put a new tire on it uh, the customer's tire had eh, 6,000 kilometers or so so it was getting low so we went ahead and put a new tire on no additional labor while we had it apart Heindel motorcycle sales Eaton Ohio thanks for watching